Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create an animated GIF or GIF, if you prefer, in Photoshop. Now, the first thing you need is a bunch of images. Of course, images that were shot in a sequence usually work best in an animated GIF. What I did is I went into uh, Lightroom and I have a number of images that I took of a waterfall. And I had my camera on high speed continuous. So I just fired off a bunch of images and when strung together, it kind of looks like a short movie of the water cascading over the falls. So that's what we're going to use. These images are what we are going to use to create our animated GIF in Photoshop. So we're going to open up Photoshop. And by the way, um, I exported those at uh, 1080 pixels on the long side. So they're not very large. I mean, most often you don't want your GIF to be a super uh, big file. You want it to be relatively light. So uh, those images at 1080, it's big enough. So uh, we're going to now load them into Photoshop. To do that, go to File, down to Scripts, and then down to Load Files into Stack. Now from here, you click on Browse, and a Finder window will pop up, and then you could go to the folder. You can see I have them right here, and we'll just select them all. I'll click on one, I'll hit Command A on my Mac, Control A on a PC. So we have them all selected, we'll click Open. Now they're loaded into the Load Layers dialog box. What I'm going to do is click Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. I did not use a tripod when I took these images. I just stood very still. But even if I used a tripod, I would probably click that box because sometimes tripods move a little due to wind or something like that between images. So we want to make sure that they're all aligned and we're going to click OK. Now what Photoshop will do is it will load these images in, as layers on the right hand side and it will automatically align them. And after it automatically aligns them, you'll see that we have some blank pixels around the edge. We're going to deal with the blank pixels later, not right now, so I'm not going to worry about those. Now, I'm just make it a little bigger. I hit Command Plus a couple times on my uh, computer, Control Plus on a PC. All right, so we have these images lay, uh, opened as a stack. Now what we need to do is open up the Photoshop timeline. To do that, go to Window, and then down to Timeline. When you do that, you have a timeline down here. Now what you want to do is click on this um, drop down and make sure that you're create frame animation. That's what you want to do. You only have two choices. So we're going to create frame animation. Then after you do that, click right on create frame anim animation as though it's a button. And when you do that, it loads an image down here in the timeline, but we need all of them loaded. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little fly out menu on the far right and we're going to go to Make Frames from Layers. And when you do that, you'll have all of the images in the timeline. So now what we could do is hit the play button. There's a play button way down here in the bottom. And when I hit that, it's going backwards. Oh no. So what we're going to do is we have to flip them around. Now to do that, go back to this little flyout menu and then go to Reverse Frames. So when you click on Reverse Frames, it should work properly now. We'll hit play. And there you go. Look at now. It looks like a cascading waterfall. All right. Now we need to export this mess as an animated GIF. But actually, before I do that, I have to deal with these blank pixels. I almost forgot. So what we're going to do is get the crop tool. Hit the C key on your keyboard for the crop tool. It's right here. And I am going to keep the original ratio. So I'm using the drop down original ratio right there. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to be too worried about being exact. I'm just going to get rid of all those blank pixels and then click the little check mark right there. So we'll hit play again. Just double check how everything looks. Hey, it looks pretty good. All right, now we need to export this as that animated GIF. To do that, go up to File, down to Export, then down to Save for Web Legacy. Okay. Then this kind of intimidating dialog box pops up, but there's only, I think, three, maybe four settings we have to worry about. First of all, at the top, Reset. Click on that and go to the very top, GIF 128 Dithered. That's what you want. Make sure that Colors is at 256. And then down here where it says Looping Options, make sure that says Forever. 
all right? Then what we could do is we could preview it. When you click this preview box, it will open this image up into a web browser so that you could preview it. So I'll do that and it will open up. My default browser is Safari and it opened up here and you could see it's working as expected. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Now we're just going to save it. So I'll click on save. It's going to ask me where and it's going to ask me to call it a name. I'm just gonna call it a waterfall. All right, and we're saving it to the desktop and I'll click in format images only uh, default setting. Okay, and we'll click save. Now it's on the desktop. I'm done with Photoshop now. Um, here is our GIF on the desktop. Now, um, if I just open a GIF, it doesn't do anything. It just shows the images over there on the left. You need to open it up into a web browser. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna go down to open with and I'm gonna open it up into Google Chrome. So then it will take it and it will open it up into Google Chrome, not there, but here. And there it is. There is our animated GIF, as easy as that. So hopefully that helps you create an animated GIF from images in Photoshop. And I say from images for a reason, because in the future I'll do a video and I'll demonstrate how you could take a short video and take that into Photoshop and create an animated GIF from that. Look for that very soon. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.